Water woes and the future of the Colorado River are up for discussion this week on the Las Vegas Strip. Agencies and groups from the Southwest are meeting for the annual Colorado River Water Users Association Conference at Caesars Palace. Joe Moeller is live on the Strip to give us a look at the conference. Joe. Well, Trisha, this was the first of three days of this conference happening here at Caesars Palace. This is basically a big discussion about the state of our water source, the Colorado River, and the impacts the drought is having on it. Obviously, one of the big topics that is being discussed this week is conservation. The Colorado River Water Users Association meets every year in Las Vegas. Officials from the federal government and the seven states using river water meet to exchange ideas and talk about the river and its sustainability. Wednesday morning, the Upper Colorado Basin Commission met. They discussed drought-related issues facing Colorado, Utah, New Mexico, and tribal lands. We talked to Bart Miller. He is the director from the Healthy Rivers Program. He's a speaker at one of the panels. He says a lot of important decisions get discussed here and then are put into action in states and at the federal level. So there's a crisis brewing, and our management structures, like how we've managed the river, they're not really able to deal with the dramatic aridification, how much less water's in the system. So a lot of the conversations in the next couple days are really about how we can manage for a drier future. During that upper basin meeting, the National Park Service shared drought-related issues they're facing as water supplies decline, including threats to future recreation, something we have seen discussed at recent meetings about Lake Mead. Changing water temperatures are also a concern, something the Park Service says is impacting endangered and non-invasive fish. Now back out here live. So why is this meeting such a big deal? Well, it's because of the discussions and the presentations that are happening here in Caesars Palace can ultimately lead to different restrictions and different laws put in place up and down the uh, the river, which will ultimately save water. Now this does go through Friday and on Friday. We are expecting to hear from some federal officials, including the Bureau of Reclamation. We're reporting live on the Las Vegas Strip. I'm Joe Moore.